Hello there. Today we're going to be reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid Containment Breach. I have honestly no idea what this is about, uh, but it sounds interesting, so we're going to be reading it. It doesn't sound weird like uh, Greg does a porno or Greg does Rule 34, which are other fanfics I've read. Go check them out. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. Tuesday. Today at school, one of the kids showed everyone some weird photo of a weird fucking gray thing his uncle saw in the woods or something. That thing fucking terrified me, honestly. The second I saw that photo, I got a real big sense of uneasiness. The rest of the day, I got the feeling that something was watching me, and recently, I just- I heard a loud screeching noise from up the street from Frankly's house. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of sleep tonight. Friday. This has been, without a doubt, the worst week of my entire life. Not only has the screeching continued every night, it seems to get closer and closer to our house. Who fucking knows, maybe it'll finally show up and end it all. It's been getting worse. Though, re though recently, Manny's been allowing in a bright light and calling himself the Abrahamwick God. And Mom just drove off after having some kind of bizarre dream about seeing a beautiful city that, that she just had to go. Christ, how could this get any worse? Wait up. Sunday. Well, now that Mom's left for God knows where, Dad, Roderick, and Manny have to take care of things ourselves here. I have no idea where the pig went, but if we ever end up eating food from that fat fuck, we're in trouble. I asked Manny, but since I didn't call him God, he refuses to tell me. Roderick went downstairs to his room yesterday and hasn't come back up. We don't know what happened to him, but after the noises me and Dad heard today, I'm pretty sure the basement's off limits, which is fine with me. I never really liked him all that much anyway. Cackle, 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 cackle. Wednesday. I've been trapped in the back of this fucking car for about a week now. I left the house whenever that skinny gray fucker broke in, and it was all set to kill me, except Rally showed up and had to act like a big damn hero by stabbing it with a butter knife. He fucking died, obviously. That gave me all the time I needed to get out of the house. I sprinted down the street as fast as my legs would carry me until I found a car with plenty of supplies in it. But nobody was around except for a corpse in the back with bite marks and acid burns. Several black helicopters have been overhead for a few days now, broadcasting a constant message about a total containment breach. Right? Like, I'm just gonna get out of this car and let those crazy fuckers get me. Sunday. Well, I decided it is enough of this miserable existence that I decided to try leaving, driving for the first time. After all, I ran out of the um, food and the corpse was trying to starting to smell, so I had nothing to lose. But guess what I ran into on the freeway? That's right, fucking Manny. Little shit decided being divine wasn't interesting enough and went to follow me. Apparently he misses Bubby, and after seeing me run away after Ali was eaten alive, he decided to, he needed his help. I needed his help, like I was in danger or some shit. Despite his begging and crying about seeing some evil peanut monster, I just drove away from him until he walked away and disappeared. Well, fuck. I think the little shit must have broken my radio too. All it's displaying is some broadcast about an end of the world scenario and saturation nuclear bo nuclear bombing. Now what the fuck am I gonna do? Thursday or Friday, I'm not sure. Dude, I, I don't know, this is a very detailed photo, but that's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know, it's a bit ominous. This, this, isn't good. this book is very, this doesn't give us a lot of answers, so the mystery is kind of frightening, I won't lie. I got out of the car and walked around for a while until I found a large gray building in the middle of who knows where. The car's GPS is broken, so I guess this is my best bet. I decided to pillage the place to look for supplies, but in the middle of a hallway, I heard a loud scraping noise and hit in the cabinet. Oh, I'm glad I fucking did, because I just had a large concrete statue exerting blood and shit from its orifices. I nearly fucking vomited, except I'm sure that peanut fucker would have heard me. I waited for about 30 minutes until I saw it dart down a corner and make a noise that sounded like snapping somebody's neck. I waited for a few hours before I decided to investigate and I found Holly Hill's twisted corpse. Despite, despite this being everything you could have asked for, I decided to find some supplies then get the fuck out. I found some food, water, gas, and a pistol in case one of those fucking things sees me again. Oh, there's multiple. Interesting. Some cold winter day. I was walking out of this concrete hellhole um, and when I saw someone. It was Dad. Well, it was Dad. He was fucking insane. How he survived that gray skinny motherfucker breaking into our house, I'll never know. But anyway, whatever was standing in front of me wasn't Dad. And I turned the zoom too far so I can't see. Anyway, he was going on and on about how I had the plague and he was going to get his perfect doctor to cure me. He said he was going to get to get his stick to cure me, so I got my own mental stick to cure him of whatever the fuck he was going on and on about. Now, if I ever see any doctors around here, I think I'm going to have issues. 
the end the end of it all. Well, fuck it. I think I'm running out of ink, though that's the least of my issues these days. I crashed the car into a tree. Well, I guess I'm as good as dead, since nobody in their right mind is on the road now. I've eaten through my food supply too, so there's not much to ex accept to do except sit here and be ungood, ungodly miserable. To make matters worse, that saturated nuclear bombing is finally here. I see the mushroom clouds off in the distance. They're small now, but I know they'll be here soon, and there's nothing I can do about it. At least the sun is beautiful tonight. That was actually a pretty good fan fiction. That was pretty well written. Like, that was unironically good, which I can't say about a lot of the fan fictions. And that's not to say it was all serious. Like, there are some nods to Manny being a fucking psychopath, which is always nice. Always nice to see in a diary when we do fan fiction. But honestly, that was one of the better ones I've read. Like, Squid Games is probably still, I'd say, the best one I've read. That's like a 9 out of 10 Zooey Mamas. And then. I think that, that the other ones I read, like, Nom was 7 out of 10, Zooey Mamas, and then the others, like, Greg does, uh, Greg explores Rule 34 and does gay porn is, like, 6 out of 10, Zooey Mamas, or, like, 5, I don't know, those ones were pretty weird. This one's a solid 8 out of 10, Zooey Mamas. It's not the typical Diary of Mookie silliness, but it's fun. Not really, I don't know, it's, it's interesting, it's a good read. I 100% recommend, I wish it was a bit longer, though, and we saw more of Sociopath Manny or something. Or, I, I don't know, maybe if we saw, like, Greg or Roger just, just beat their Manny, actually. Manny or Roderick or, or um, what's his name, Frank just beat the shit out of one of those creatures. That would be cool. But, yeah, this one was pretty interesting. Um, but it's not as weird as the other ones. And I like reading weird ones. I won't lie. They're, they're always the most interesting ones. Uh, so, yeah. Make sure to leave me some weird Diary of Wimbledon fanfics to read. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't miss any more uploads. And, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye.